Hey folks out there in YouTube land, welcome to my channel. I'm the carnivore curmudgeon and I am an actual carnivore, but I'm not an actual curmudgeon, mostly. But I wanted to come on this video today and talk about something that really struck my interest and that's hearing a number of people say that the carnivore diet is simply not sustainable financially. While that may be true for some people because they struggle financially, I think for other people it really isn't true and that they could afford a carnivore diet if they did their homework and did a cost comparison. So I decided to do some homework for those people and do a comparison of one week of a typical standard carnivore diet for two people versus one week of a typical standard American diet for two people. I've done both. So I'm very honest, I'm very honest in this endeavor. I think I actually gave the benefit of the doubt perhaps a little bit to the standard American diet side just so I wouldn't be biased. But I believe if we take a look at it objectively, many people can see that they really can afford it if they just pay attention, budget it, and if their health means enough to them to make the change. So let's take a look. First off, some notes about how I did this. To make it sort of a controlled study, I only shopped at one store so that there wouldn't be a wide variety of different prices because I know different stores can have a lot of different price points. I went with what was the most commonly available price for all of these items, understanding that sometimes either side, the SAD diet or the carnivore diet, can find things on sale. Next, I need to emphasize that with the sad part of the diet, I did it by serving size and not by realistic expectation for most things. There were a few things where it became obvious I needed to do it by what somebody, somebody would actually eat rather than what the serving size says. We all know that the standard American diet says it's a half a cup of Cheerios and a half a cup of milk, but very few people actually eat the serving size uh, as part of their cereals balanced breakfast like we're all so used to seeing or complete breakfast that many of us of a certain age are used to uh, seeing from commercials. So I went with serving size just to be fair to the standard American diet size side and keep it equitable. Now on the carnivore side, I just made it so that everything was eaten. Clean plate club. So that's how I compared these two. So let's dive right in here and take a look at Monday. Standard American diet side one. We're going to have that half a cup of Cheerios, some milk, some toast, a little bit of jam on that toast, and of course, orange juice. We put that all together. It comes out to $2.58 for two people. For lunch, we're going to have a tuna salad sandwich with some cheese and some lettuce on it. And got to have a little crunch with that sandwich and a couple of chips for dessert. That comes out to $5.18. All of this is for two people. For dinner, some hamburger helper. Going to need hamburger to have with the helper. Some milk to make it. Some green beans on the side. Maybe a roll. And a little bit of ice cream for dessert. Dinner on Monday comes out to $6.70, which gives us a grand total for Monday of $14.46 on the standard American diet. And now on Tuesday, we're going to have the exact same breakfast, and we're going to have the leftovers from the hamburger helper for lunch. So those prices remain the same. And then for dinner, we're going to have some pork chops with some au gratin potatoes, which we need milk to make, some mixed vegetables, and again, a little ice cream for dessert. That makes dinner $6.05. So our Tuesday total comes to $15.33. Moving on to hump day, I'm going to change it up for breakfast and have some eggs and some bacon to go along with those eggs, a little bit of toast, a little bit of jam for that toast, and some orange juice. Brings our breakfast total to $2.77. For lunch, since it's hump day, I'm going to go out to lunch to McDonald's for the quarter pounder meal. And for two people, that's going to run us about $12.50. Since we ate a heavy lunch, we're going to have a simple dinner of 
roast chicken and salad with dressing. And that's going to run us about $6.50 for the two of us. So Wednesday's total comes out to $21.77. Back to the old standard breakfast for Thursday. Going to have some of that leftover rotisserie chicken and salad with dressing for lunch. And going to have a stir fry for dinner with some rice. Going to stir some eggs in there. And a little bit of ice cream for dessert. So our dinner comes out to a meager $5.27, and Thursday is $14.35. Friday, standard breakfast, but for lunch, we're going to have a roast beef sandwich. Going to need some bread for a sandwich, some cheese, a little lettuce, and some crunch for our sandwich, along with a couple of uh, cookies for dessert. So that brings... Our lunch total is $6.60. Moving on to dinner, going to have some fresh cod. Going to serve it over some rice with a little bit of broccoli. And why not a couple of cookies? Give us a break from ice cream. So dinner comes to $15 for the total. That gives us a total for Friday of $24.18 on the day. Saturday, going to just stick with some coffee for breakfast. So that's a whopping 50 cents for two people. But for lunch, we're going to go back to the roast beef sandwich, and we're going to have some cheese and some lettuce, but we're going to forego the chips and the cookies, making our lunch total for 60 for Saturday. But hey, since we had a light lunch and a light breakfast, we're going to pop for pizza and wings on Saturday night, and that's going to set us back $15 because we're going to eat half of it on Saturday. So our Saturday total comes at $20.10. But it's Sunday morning. Got to have a big Sunday morning breakfast, some pancakes, some syrup, a few eggs, some orange juice. And that's going to run us only $2.82 for Sunday breakfast. And since we only ate half of that pizza and wings, we're going to eat the other half for lunch. Then on, oh, that's $15 for Sunday lunch. Then on Sunday night, we're going to make some pulled pork in the crock pot. Going to have a sandwich with some rolls, some beans, some potato salad, and some ice cream. So Sunday dinner comes to $7.75. That makes our Sunday total $25.57. Now there's always extras, and that's going to include here some Diet Coke, some crackers for snacking on during the week, a 12-pack of beer to get us through the week, uh, some condiments, some snacking chips in addition to what we had at our meals, and a little bit of butter, and then coffee out maybe once or twice during the week. The extras are going to run us about $35 on the week, but that brings our total for the week to $172.00. And 76 cents. Now let's compare that to a typical week, at least in my household, for two people on the carnivore diet. We already know we're not going to be buying potatoes and carrots and vegetables, but it is going to include a lot of fatty, healthy red meat. It's going to include some other meats like bacon and sausage. And of course, there is the ubiquitous eggs and butter on the carnivore diet. And remember, I'm not doing serving size here. I'm just doing a set amount that would be normal. So let's just start with Monday breakfast. We're gonna start the week off right with a breakfast of eight eggs and a half a pound of bacon between the two of us, giving us a total for the morning of $3.55. For lunch, we're each gonna have a can of sardines and four hard-boiled eggs between the two of us. So lunch will cost us $3.60. For dinner, starting the week off in an excellent way with a couple of ribeyes and four eggs between the two of us. Our dinner total comes to $15.60 and our daily total for Monday, $22.75. Now for Tuesday, we're gonna repeat our menu from Monday except we're going to just skip breakfast and have coffee only. So we take off the difference 
for the breakfast, and we come up with a total for the day of $19.70. So for Wednesday, we're going to start our day off with a breakfast of eight eggs and a half a pound of bacon between the two of us. For lunch, a simple tuna salad with a little homemade mayonnaise, no bread or lettuce or cheese or anything. And for supper, four hamburgers and four eggs between us. So we add our dinner total in to the rest of the day. We get a total for the day of $13.50. So for Thursday, we're going back to our old standby, just coffee for breakfast. Hey, if I can have cereal every day for breakfast, I can have coffee every day for breakfast. We know that costs 50 cents. And for lunch, we're going to have four hamburgers with some cheese for $7 for lunch for the two of us. And we're going to have four pork chops with four eggs for dinner. So our dinner total comes to $6.60, giving us a Thursday total for the day of $14.10. Now comes the end of the work week for many people. And so we're going to finish out the week with an eight egg scramble with a half a pound of sausage for the two of us which is gonna run us about $3.55. And for lunch, some roast beef with some cheese. Not on a sandwich, just roast beef and cheese. And we know that's gonna to come to $7. And our go-to favorite dinner, some ribeyes with butter and eggs, which is gonna cost us $15.60. Brings our total for Friday to $26.15. And that brings us to the weekend. And for Saturday morning, you guessed it, coffee only for breakfast, but we are gonna have a hearty lunch. Some beef stew that's cooked in the crock pot with just some beef broth. No potatoes, no carrots, no fixins, just beef stew. That's gonna run us $6.25 for the two of us. But for Saturday night, we're gonna celebrate a little for Saturday night with some salmon and some eggs on the side. So Saturday dinner, will come to a total of $21.59, giving us a total for the day of $28.34. Now Sunday morning, we're going to have a hearty breakfast for Sunday with some of that coffee that we like every day. And we're going to include some eggs, a 10 egg scramble, and a full pound of breakfast sausage, which will cost us for breakfast $6.80. Some of that roast beef we had the other day with some cheese will go good for a relatively light lunch and only cost us four bucks. And then for dinner, some chuck steak that cooked in the crock pot, also in just beef broth. Well, a little bit of butter. And the total cost $13.25, giving us a total for the day of $24.05. Now you might remember for the standard American diet, I added some extras and there's some extras here too. Some of the same things, some seltzer water, some Starbucks coffee, some condiments. But the total for our extras, because we're on a, a carnivore diet, is only going to be about $18. So as we close out the week, what does that mean for our weekly total? Well, it brings our total to $166.59. So what does that mean for our comparison? Well, in this scenario, the carnivore diet came out to be $6.17 less expensive. So there you have it. One week of comparison for the standard American diet for two people versus one week of comparison costs on the carnivore diet for two people. You can see that they're very comparable cost-wise, and I know they can fluctuate up and down on either side at any given week, especially with sales and things like that. But if it's important to you, you can see that it could be manageable for many people. It's just a matter of thinking it through, budgeting, and then working out your plan. The health benefits, though, are priceless when it comes to the carnivore diet. And if you'd like to know more, I suggest you look at Dr. Ken Berry's videos on YouTube, Dr. Sean Baker's YouTube and Instagram videos, and Rivero.com on the internet uh, to get some more information, real valuable information on the benefits of the carnivore diet, then I think you'll see that it could be worth every penny. But whether you like the comparison or not, just remember 
don't be a curmudgeon about it. Leave that to the pros. Thanks for watching.